Hello, welcome back to English class. How are you all? The lesson Chubby the Fat Cat is completed. Let us go to the grammar portion today. We'll discuss pronouns. Pronouns. What are pronouns? Nouns are the names of things. Name, naming words, name of people, places and things we studied. Pronouns are words that are used instead of nouns, in place of nouns. Without repeating the same noun many times, we can use certain small words to replace nouns. For example, Ravi is a good boy. Ravi is fond of sports. Ravi can sing, Ravi can speak French. Don't you feel bad to repeat Ravi, Ravi, Ravi? Instead of repeating this noun, we can use certain small words like he, him, his, himself. These are called pronouns. Once again, pronoun is a word that is used in place of nouns, instead of nouns. Pronouns can be divided or categorized as subjective pronouns, objective pronouns, possessive pronouns, reflective pronouns. Subjective pronouns are commonly, mostly used in the beginning of the sentence. He, she, we, you, I, they, it. These are called subjective pronouns. I, you, we, they, he, she, it. We normally start a sentence with this pronouns. Objective pronouns are me, you, them, us, him, her, it. It can be used both as subjective and objective pronoun. It is raining heavily. I looked at it. Both of these sentences, it is used once as a subject, once as the object. It is barking there. Now it is used as a subject. I looked at it. It is used at the end of the sub sentence. It is used as objective pronoun. So it at a time can be used as subjective and objective pronoun. I told you about possessive pronouns. What are possessive pronouns? His pencil. This is his pencil. Meet Maria. Her brother is a doctor. Here, his, her, our, their. These pronouns are possessive pronouns. Possessive pronouns. Let us look at the textbook for more examples. If you take page number 37 in the textbook, exercise G discusses about pronouns. Replace underlined words with the words from the box. In the box, there are so many pronouns given. We must use these pronouns instead of the underlined words in the textbook. In the first sentence, Andy was a little boy and he loved his grandpa. Instead of repeating the word Andy again, can we use any of the pronoun given in the box? Andy is a singular male masculine noun, so we can use he. He, he loved his grandpa. Choose the word from the box. Write it just above the underlined word. Second sentence is, Mother asked Andy to sleep on time. Mother wanted him to sleep, rise early. If we sleep early, early we can get up early. So, Mother wanted Andy to sleep early. Mother wanted Andy to rise early. Instead of repeating mother for the second time, 
Why can't we write she? Subjective pronoun. Yes. This is the way. So, do this remaining three sentences as a homework. Do it yourself. Instead of the underlined word, find out a suitable word from the pronoun from the box and write it just above the underlined word. Let us take page number 63 in the textbook. Then also exercise A. Each question has, has three options. First one is Mrs. Iyer is our music teacher. Dash sings well. There are two options. He, she. Instead of Mrs. Iyer, singular feminine word, noun, what can be used as a pronoun? He or she. I told you already, Mrs. Iyer is a singular feminine word. She, exactly correct answer. She sings well. Mrs. Iyer is our music teacher. She sings well. Dash like listening to dash. We like listening to. I told you about objective pronouns that come at the end of the sentence. We like to listening her. We like listening her. Second sentence is Mohit is my cousin. Dash is 10 years old. Mohit is the name of a boy. A singular masculine noun. So it or he. It is used for neuter gender. Like baby, child. We do not know whether it is a boy or girl. Such a case as you can use it. And also it is used for the animals and inanimate things. For example, rain. It has no life. We can use the pronoun it for that. Also for the animals, cow, dog, lion, peacock. We can use it as a pronoun here. So here the word is Mohit is 10 years old. Mohit is my cousin. Dash is 10 years old. Options are he, it. It is not used for human beings. So, I mean, if it is clear whether it is a boy or girl, masculine or feminine, we need not use it there. Where it is not clear whether it is a boy or girl, we can use it. For example, a student is in the class. It is not mentioned whether it is a boy or girl. So, it can be used there. Or, the child is crying. It is hungry. Mohit is my cousin. He is 10 years old. He, because it is a singular masculine noun. Dash play in the park. So, we are, I'm, I am telling you about Mohit is my cousin. So, something is going to happen between us. The options are we, us. We are going to play in the park. Because us should be used at the end of the sentence. It is a, an objective pronoun the most suitable pronoun here is we we play in the park more than myself we play in the park hope you got an idea about it try to write the remaining exercises the remaining questions of exercise a and exercise b we will do the remaining exercises in the class enjoy the day bye bye